The last part of this section is on back substitution. Back substitution is a partial method for solving systems of equations. And the idea is somehow you get the um, you get the system into a triangular form and then solve for the variables in reverse order. Now, what do I mean by mean by a partial method? Well, I'm not really telling you how to do this part about putting it into a triangular form. We'll get to that in the next section. But for now, this is what I mean by triangular form. Over here, we've got um, these things are missing. Or if you wanted to, you could put it in a 0x, 0x, and a 0y. But there's that little triangular bit on the bottom where all the coefficients are 0. And that makes for a really easy system to solve. Uh, what we've got here is z is 3. Then we can take that and plug into here. 2y minus 3 equals 7. So let's see, 2y is 10, so that gives me y equals 5. And then we'll plug both of those back into the top. So we get x minus 3y plus 2z equals 16. So let's see, that's x minus 15 plus 6 equals 16. So let's see, the way I mentally do this is I would say, let's see, 16 minus 6 would give you 10, and so x is 25. I'm going to be lazy and just circle my three answers separately instead of writing them together. But that's the idea behind back substitution. Um, I'm not going to do any additional examples because when we get into section 1.2, we're going to see more about how to get things into this system. Or, I'm sorry, into this form where we have the triangular form. So I'm going to save that part for 1.2. And for now, I'm just going to leave this here.